Hi, I'm Lynette, aka London Makeup Artistry, and welcome to my channel. So today I am bringing you an old and new makeup haul. And what's an old and new makeup haul, you ask? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it is makeup that is new to me, but is old in the makeup community. Some of these things were released a long time ago, and I'm just not getting my hands on them. And then the new makeup part is exactly that, new makeup that's on the market now. And this haul is a combination of some shopping I've done over the last few weeks. If you like haul videos, then go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe because I do makeup hauls on the regular here on my channel every week, every Saturday, I bring you a new video. Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff first and that is eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I have a weakness for eyeshadow palettes. I did a video a few weeks ago about making a commitment to spending less money on makeup. If you missed that video, no worries. It will be linked here and in the description box below. And a lot of this makeup was already on order and I was waiting for it to come <laughs> by the time I filmed that video. So. <laughs> So let's get started. Eyeshadow palettes. The first one, oldie but goodie that I got, is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And we all know and remember the Urban Decay Electric Palette, right? This is what it looks like. And I'm not going to swatch it because we all know what it looks like. <laughs> so this is a palette that's been out for... Um, probably a few years now and I never picked it up because back then in my makeup journey I wasn't really doing a lot of bright colors um, this palette was kind of expensive I, I'm gonna say it was probably like $49 $45 $49 when it came out and I didn't want to pay that much money for eyeshadows I probably were, were not going to use that often so I opted to get the BH Cosmetics Blame It On Brazil palette instead because it too has a lot of bright eyeshadow colors in it and it was a lot cheaper and I still have that palette by the way I've actually done some tutorials with that palette now I am doing more looks with bright eyeshadows this summer um, I did quite a few looks um, with bright eyeshadow colors and now I'm comfortable using those types of colors and I wasn't looking to purchase this palette I was just um, hot look I get emails from hot look and they had Urban Decay as one of the brands they were featuring and it turned out that they had the electric palette on sale at Hot Look and it was like $24. So I said at that price, I think they're phasing this palette out or it may have already been discontinued, I'm not sure. But um, for $23, I said I can go pick it up now. All right, so as you can see, it hasn't even been used. Um, I swatched it and I probably won't use it until next summer to be honest so <laughs> but I have it now and I'm happy to have added it to my collection next up is another oldie and also from Urban Decay and it is the Moon Dust palette and this palette I was always sort of kind of interested in this is what it looks like and it's a palette full of very shimmery shades which seems to be on trend right now even though this palette is a year or so maybe longer old um, glittery eyeshadows seem to be on trend right now with um, Too Faced came out with the glitter bomb palette and now Fenty Beauty has come out with the Galaxy collection and in that collection is a whole glitter shimmer eyeshadow palette and I'm not into glittery, shimmery shades that much to where I would go and buy the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. And I thought about it when it, when it dropped. I definitely went to Sephora to check it out. But for, what is it, $59? I didn't think I was going to use it that much. And uh, again, I was not looking to purchase this palette. I was on Sephora online. And it happened to be on sale and it was like $24 or $27, something in that range. And I figured for that 
price, I could go ahead and try it. Again, it was a palette I, I was always interested in. Um, and now I, I got to finally get it at a nice discounted price. So <laughs> happy to have that in my collection also. And now for a new item, new eyeshadow palette, and it is the Kat Von D Saint Sinner palette. <laughs> um, I am excited about this baby. This is what she looks like. And there's, I think, 24 shades in this palette now. This is a palette that I had initially talked myself out of purchasing. When I first saw the um, online, there were some janky swatches of this palette. And I was like, oh, perfect. I ain't buying that. And then I watched Kat Von D has a swatch video where she swatches this palette. And I watched it. And then I was like, okay, I got to get it. And then, you know, I trying to buy, spend less money on makeup, in particular um, eyeshadow palettes, because they are my weakness. And uh, I didn't know if I was going to pick up the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette and the Pat McGrath palette. <laughs> so I said, uh, you know what, I'm going to pass on this palette right here. And then I went into Sephora to check out the Fenty Beauty Galaxy collection and ended up swatching this baby in store. Damn you, cut Fenty. So I'm going to swatch a couple of shades for you here. And this is what they look like on the hand. This is Vestment. This is Rosary. Is that Rosary? Yes, this is Rosary. This is Ministry. And this is Sacred Heart, which, act, which actually turns out to be, can you see that? Is it my camera focusing? Sacred Heart actually has turned out to be one of my favorite shadows in the palette. Um, this vestment, ho, 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 one of the reasons why I decided to buy this palette. And this one right here, Rosary. Um, and let me also swatch Stigmata because stigmata, stigmata, that's it right there. Um, and you know, all of the shades that I swatched in store, I already have for the most part, but these shadows were so, are so buttery, smooth, and pigmented that I couldn't help myself when I swatched them. I, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> and I don't regret it. Um, at all. I have used this palette a couple of times already and um, I like every look that I've done with it thus far. But if you would like to see some eye looks using this palette, um, let me know in the comments below and I will do a tutorial for you because you know, I'm cool like that. So I mentioned Fenty Beauty and even though I didn't pick up the eyeshadow palette in that collection, in the Galaxy collection, I did pick up three of the four lip glosses in that collection and they are right here. Um, I picked up Gal on the Moon and I love the packaging. Of these that whole collection look at that holographic top and then look at that glittery marvelousness in there <laughs> I also I'm gonna swatch these for you I also picked up plutonic relationship this is more of a pinky bright fuchsia and then I also got Astral Naughty. And this is more of a maroon color. The only one I didn't get is the uh, spacesuit, which is the pink toned one. And these are the swatches. So this is Astral Naughty. 
This is Plutonic relationship. And this is Gal on the moon. And gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. So I've worn two out of the three. And when you first apply them, they are gorgeous. They very shiny, very glossy. They all have this like blue iridescent glitter shimmer to them. And um, they're beautiful when first applied. They look like nothing else in my collection. And then um, it seems like the glossy part of the it wears off fairly quickly. And then you're left with this like bluish glitter on your lips, which I'm really not a big fan of. Um, so I was going to go back and get spacesuit. That's the only one um, that I'm missing. There's four of them and they're limited edition. And after wearing these a uh, few times, um, I don't think I'm crazy enough about them to go ahead and get that spacesuit. Now, I have worn them alone. I've worn them on top of a liquid lipstick. I haven't worn them on top of just a regular lipstick yet, so I'm going to do that. But if you hadn't, haven't gotten any of these yet, I would say go ahead and try one. And because they're really different and they're really gorgeous and wear it and see what you think and um, you might not want to go get the rest of them um, I think one is enough I didn't I didn't need all four of them because <laughs> I don't love them that much so just my humble opinion next up we have some eyelashes and I got this from my um, beauty supply store I was in there. I'm getting ready to make a wig, y'all. My first time. <laughs> my first wig. My first time ever making a wig. My first time ever wearing a wig. So if you'd be interested in seeing a video of me making a wig for the first time, go ahead and leave uh, a comment below letting me know. <laughs> but um, so I was in there looking for hair and all my supplies I'm going to need for that. And I came across these Kiss eyelashes and this one is in the style shy I've actually had shy before and I like I liked it this is the more natural um, looking eyelashes and this is in the style chic and um, I like them my problem is with the natural ones is that the band is, is thin and I'm kind of flimsy and for someone who's not good at I still consider myself a beginner with wearing lashes um, it was difficult for me to manipulate these and to put them on now I actually am wearing some kiss eyelashes right now these are from the faux mink collection the style I have on are boudoir which these are my absolute favorite <laughs> um, but they also have a faux mink collection kiss and these eyelashes in the faux mink collection, the band is a lot thicker. It's, it's kind of a thick band, um, but they're very flexible. And I find that I work better with the bigger, thicker band. Um, plus the fact that they are so flexible, I find it's a little easier for me to work with them than it is with the thin, flimsy band. But I'm gonna try them because, you know, I don't wanna always look this like, extra you know what I mean I want some natural lashes <laughs> so I'm gonna try these I'm gonna keep trying with the lashes y'all I have not given up on false lashes I am going to master them sooner or later and last but not least Too Faced was having a 30% off sale so I took that as an opportunity to um, get some backups of the Better Than Sex mascara. It's one of my favorites. I have a few mascaras that I really, really like. I'm not going to open this because, um, you know, as soon as you open a mascara and you get the air in it, it starts going to hell. But um, so I got two of those at 30% off, you know, and it's not like I'm not going to use them. I definitely am. So I couldn't resist that. And that's it, guys. <laughs> that is it with for my old and new makeup haul. If you liked this video, 
please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe because I do makeup hauls, tutorials, reviews, first impressions, and swatches on my channel every Saturday. I bring you a new video. If you would like to see a video with me using any of the items that I showed you today, then uh, let me know in the comments below and I will get that out to you. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.